Hi everyone, I thought we would have a go at having a try with the um, Casa Arts metallic pencils again. Now I did try them out um, in a um, in a book um, for you when I did a mini review, but I thought it would be fun to actually use them in a proper picture, trying some sort of different um, shading and things like that with them and just see how we get on. This is um, Millie Marotta's Wildlife Wonders and um, this lovely elegant peacock um, page which I've been asked to do so I thought I would have a go and uh, use the um, pencil. Now I'm not sure um, whether we're going to do several videos or not. Now, I'm going to start with the actual peacock and do the peacock in metallics. I may do the flowers in metallics but the ones around the outside I'm not going to. I thought it would make the peacock stand out if it was in metallics and nothing else was. So with these metallics I actually whoops, filled out, I'm just trying to open the tin, the swatch sheet. Now I don't do this, I'm a lazy person, I just like to colour and have fun and not do it but it came with one so I just did it and I wanted to order them in the tray um, in a nice order and I couldn't tell what the colours were like. I found the dipped ends, um, let me show you, the ends are sort of dipped and painted but I found they didn't necessarily relate that well to the colour of the lead which is often the case with many brands of pencil so I um, swatched them instead so that I could see what order to put them in the tin and what they look like so I will use that as a little guide as we're um, colouring. I'm just trying to take um, sort the pencils out, there we go. So I'm going to start I think um, with the main body the sort of neck of the peacock is often in a bluey colour. If we look at this one, we can see that we've got this sort of feathering effect on it, but in the background there are little gaps. So, zoom out a bit so you can see its head. There we go. So what I thought I would do was go over with the layer first and then do a brighter layer on the top which would um for each feather they're quite small so we'll have to sharpen well but so having a look at my swatch chart and then i've got to try and find the color in my tray so it's going to take me a little bit of time but i thought i would use the crystal blue for the background um well for the whole thing and then put the feather detail on top so this is the whoops crystal blue and I'm just going to do a layer over the whole of this bit. I'm going to ignore the face at the minute. I can't remember what colour Peacock's faces are. I really should have had a photo up. And I'm just going to do a layer all over so that we fill in all those gaps in between each of the feathers. And then we can do the feathers in a bit. I have experimented with these pencils um, a few times now. And uh, I find, I feel that they aren't, that metallic i wouldn't call them metallic when the light is really close and bright and you look at them under that light i feel they look more pearlescent rather than metallic and for me that's fine um there i think i like the shades they're pretty um pencils so that's really good so um i'm enjoying them which is nice as i do all pencils i think I think I've only got one brand of pencils that I find are really hard work and they're the um, Stedler Norris because they're very hard it's you have to use them a lot to get any colour out you know keep layering them up and the colours are pretty but the Ergosoft have the same colours in and they're much easier so let me know now that's our base it's quite a dull blue that's fine um it's it's okay um it's uh it's, I'm just looking up a peacock picture on my um, computer in front of me so I can check what the face looks like. The feathers are going to be in a really bright colour. Now there is a colour called sapphire which I'm in danger of probably using first because it's a really, really bright blue compared to all the others. And uh, that's what I'm going to use for the um, feathers. I think it will... Um, really make them stand out. I'm not sure about this bit and this bit and this bit. We'll, we'll just concentrate on this neck bit first. Now what you could do for your 
peacock is ignore all Millie's um, details and just colour it with the shading around. So do some shading here and some shading here and add some shape. Now we could do that and then add the petal, the um, feather effects on top. I'm just wondering whether to do that. Yes, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use that in a minute. I'm going to find the peacock topaz colour. There it is. And I'm going to do a bit of shading where I think it would be a bit darker and to give some sort of shape and roundness to the neck of the peacock. Oops, miles out of the lines. These don't erase very well either, but never mind. So basically just, um, I'm not sure what to do at the top, just adding a bit more colour. This might all disappear when... Um, when we put the other one on top so it might be a bit of a waste of time we'll see and the problem with using a metallic pencil is that the light shines off it <laughs> you can't see what you're doing there we go which is why I went so badly out of the line so that's all I'm gonna do and as I say that might just disappear anyway right let's just erase that little error here. I see the peacock face is black and white. I've just looked it up. So I'll have to address that in a minute. I was thinking of doing a black background, but if the peacock's face is going to be black, I'm not sure if this is going to be sharp enough. We're just going to make a start and see. Now I think I would rather do the each feather darker at the top lighter towards the bottom. They're quite small so doing a bit of shading in each is quite tricky. I probably need to sharpen up in a bit. So I hope you're all well and uh, having a good day. I'm very excited actually because I got, I was expecting a parcel in the post which arrived but with another one. The parcel that arrived was, um, was my Prismacolor pencils which I knew were coming today, which is very exciting, but I can't open them yet because they're a gift. So, but I ordered them really early because I was warned by the shop that they might take six weeks to arrive, but actually they took a lot less, only a week, which was pretty amazing. I think it was a week. So yeah, it's very quick. Although time's passing fast at the minute. I don't know why, it's very odd. Anyway. <laughs> But, uh, so those have come, so that's good. They'll be needing to be put away for ooh, probably about six weeks before I can even look at them. But I was going to, um, I asked my husband if he wants to unwrap them and just look at, check them over. But uh, I'd like to, but I don't know if I should be looking at them. I think the excitement of just looking at them is going to need to be waited for, for uh, when it's my birthday. So that was good. But I also received a second parcel, which was a gift from a lovely lady. I've done an unboxing video of that because I knew it was from her because her name was on the front of the um, envelope. And um, I know she uh, will often, when she sends me things, she's very, very generous, um, send me a selection of things. So I wasn't sure, so I filmed myself opening it because I thought it would be fun. And I thought, well, if I'm not, um, um, if I, it turns out to be something that maybe isn't what I expected and uh, I wouldn't have to, you know, it wasn't matter if it was on film. But actually it was a very exciting parcel. Right, sorry about that. My telephone rang and uh, I had a nice chat with my mum who's not feeling very well. I'm going to get back to colouring these feathers while I talk to you. She's got a cold. It's, um, it's She had a bit of a temperature. She's feeling a bit off. Um, she has done a test. It's not COVID, which is good. But uh, she's still not good that she's unwell. So having a chat. I think she'll be all right. She was getting on with her household chores and things. She was just feeling rotten which isn't nice and hadn't slept well which makes everything a bit worse I think so uh, anyway but uh, I sent her a little something so I hope it cheers her up she might get it later in the day 
I uh, just ordered her a little bunch of flowers. I did the same for my niece has had the cold. I think she's probably passed it on to her granny. And uh, I sent her, actually I sent her and her roommate, who's also poorly, uh, a couple of succulents and a little group of three because, uh, because they've both been ill. I thought they might be able to put some in each of their bedrooms, which they did. So uh, that'd be nice. I also decided to get them succulents partly because they're in a pot um, um, and they don't have pots because they're students so they don't really have that sort of thing in their accommodation but also they um, I thought succulents are easy to remember if they forget to water them they'll, they'll probably still survive hopefully anyway <laughs> so I thought that was a good idea um, I think um, my mum was surprised that I was sort of doing that but I remember what it was like being a student living away from home and it, getting a little something whether it's a little postcard or letter or little gift it's so nice it just makes you feel a bit more connected with people that perhaps you aren't seeing so much of as you were used to I mean actually she lives closer to us now than she did before but she's living away from her mum and her siblings and you know in some ways and her dad of course and in some ways um she's sort of enjoying that bit of freedom but in other ways you know you can miss your family so there's our peacock's neck I'm quite happy with him um at the moment i did look up a picture of peacocks so that i could work out what to do with the rest now the face is sort of black and white so what i think i'm gonna do and so is the beak is sort of white as well so we have got a black in this set so we'll use it and it is called mythos black oops i don't know if you can see that very well <coughs> sorry i'm hitting my uh hitting the uh the tripod now the picture that i've got it's got a bit of white under the eye and a little bit um just above the um sort of either side of the eye really so i think i'm going to start with putting some black under here sort of at the bottom of the face We might as well use that guideline that Millie's drawn for us. I think I'll try and fade it a little bit upwards. Um, I'm just trying to see it. The light it shines off it so much metallic pencils. So I can't see how smooth it is. I think that'll do. Yeah. Now, around the eye. Now, the eye is actually black as well, but I've got a little white dot in the middle, which I think is rather useful and good. Um, what shall we do now that yeah that goes there underneath is white so I think we'll start there go do a thin line here and then leave a white line there I think that's how we'll do it like that yeah now the beak isn't completely white, it's sort of slightly beige, I would say. I'm thinking, yeah, let's try this. Um, let's just pop this black back. I'm not sure we're going to need it again, we'll see. I'm going to try the French grey for the beak. And uh, hmm, I think it might be a little bit darker underneath. And then a little lighter as we go towards the top. It's sort of catching the light. Yeah. Now that I know we've got these little um, little bits up here which we need to do as well. I think we need to head back to our um, sapphire blue for those. Um, it's getting a little blunt. I'm just going to give it a sharpen, and then um, do those because quite small, aren't they? And I'm not going to do anything. I'm actually going to do them quite. Um, solid because they're quite small areas can't see very well there we go I think they'll just benefit from being really bright that's it now the peacock's body and tail now the tail is sort of green and gold but the 
part of the body, I'm just trying to find what picture with the body in it. So this sort of part of the body tends to be black and white. So I think we'll do that, um, but we'll use um, Millie's patterns to help us. So if we move our peacock up just a tad. So I'm thinking with this particular part here, I might just fill these bits in in the black. I'm going to try and fade my amount of pencil towards the tips of each little bit. And it isn't the way the peacock's body is patterned, it's more like this. But <clears throat> I think we might as well, excuse me, I'm losing my voice, use um, Millie's, um, use Millie's patterning to make it look pretty. She knows what she's doing after all. I'm still trying to think of what to do with the florals. Now these florals around our um, peacock, I'm thinking um, I'm probably going to do in some pinks. Um, the pinks are quite muted in this set, but that's okay. There are a few purpley pinks which I think could look really nice. Maybe some purples too, because we're not going to have any purple in our peacock. But for the surrounding flowers, I'm a little bit stuck. I'm not, don't think I'm going to use the metallics, I think we'll just have this bit in the centre in the metallics, and maybe the outside in plain pencils, if that makes sense, we'll probably stick with castles, some nice colours, so probably go with the soft touch castles rather than the metallic castles and see where that gets us, um, to have a think about that, gosh I've just realised I need to do um, a couple of Cards, pop a couple of cards in the post. Oof, but I've got a busy day tomorrow, so I don't like being busy. It's not something I, some people seem to almost be in competition for being the busiest mother or busiest mum, and I was part of that brigade in my children were in primary school. And um, just try and do this. And always on the go, doing this, that or the other, thinking, listing all the jobs I've done in the day and I've got to do and all that sort of thing. I don't want to be part of that anymore. I'm going to do these, um, I think I'm going to make them a little darker at the top and less towards the bottom. Um, I don't want to be part of that sort of idea. I want to be relaxed and calm. So I don't want to think of my life as busy, but I've just got a lot to remember. There's a lot of appointments, none of them mine, well one of them mine, which actually I'm just trying to change so that I can have a bit of a quieter day. And I've got two that are going to clash, so that's why I'm changing one. But um, my children have got a lot going on and I need to remind them. My son's got a meeting at college um, about his exam access requirements. Basically he has special, um, in the exam he gets to use a computer when most children... Um, handwrite because his writing is so bad. He had this in prime in um, secondary school I mean for his um, his exams he did there but here at college um, they said to me um, yes it would just automatically probably get switched over but he's got to have a little meeting about it so uh, I'm hoping that works well. He's got to remember to go and uh, he's not he's he's not very good at always remembering these things and then at lunchtime there's a drop-in for covid booster jabs which i want him and his brother to both go to so you've got to pair up and go off for that you've got to remember to wear a short sleeve t-shirt normally wear long sleeves so there's that as well so there's lots of little bitty things i've got to remember i think what i'm going to do is write myself a note for beside the bed um, for the reminding me about the t-shirt thing and then set myself a couple of reminder alarms my husband's also got a counselling session in the afternoon so I've got to remember that he's got to go to that so I thought if I set some alarms which I'll do in a minute that'll help me to remember and then I won't feel busy because I'll have reminders set it really helps me to calm if I know there's something you know if it's all organised if you know it doesn't matter then, I know I'll remember. It's like last night, I was just going off to sleep and I re I've also got to read my electric and gas meter, it sounds silly, but I've got to remember to do it tomorrow because the prices are going up 
after tomorrow and we need to make sure that um, we get a reading before that happens. So if I just set myself a few reminders for these little jobs, which I'll be annoyed if I don't get done, then uh, then all is well. I'm trying to colour so that I'm not shading it, sorry. So I'm using the same technique for these. And then I've just got my usual day. I might have to pop to the post office. As I said, I've got a few cards to post off as well. So I uh, should do that. I might be able to do one just at the post box, but the other one I'll need weighing. I'll have a think anyway. Now I think this last bit is also I'm going to do in black and white. It's a little bit of being striped. I might just do the odd stripe in black and not shade it. I might do those two like that and leave some white. I think that'll be okay. You could, and I had considered this, colour the white in silver, but and then it's got that sparkle still, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it white, like on the face, we just left white. Ooh, I need my coffee. I've got a coffee cooling. I've always got one sat there cooling, and then by the time I finish the video, it's cold, but I don't mind. There we go. Now we've got the tail. Now, I'm not going to do all the tail for you, over and over because every feather is going to be the same. Now a peacock tail is green and gold pretty much so that's how I'm going to do it. I don't know if that bit should have been green and gold really as well but hey it's not now is it? So we've got to choose some greens. Now I'm looking at these photos and they really seem some of them are like a almost bronzy green like an olive green and some of them are like a a bluey green and so it's a little bit tricky knowing which to actually pick I'm having a look at the colors that I've got because I just want something that stands out and actually this is a really pretty green so maybe I'll just use this this is the African jade it stands out really nicely you can't show it. you the end isn't really going to help you is it and uh, so I'll show you now we're not going to do this eye part, we're just going to do the outside bit in this. And with um, feathers, what I tend to do is do a darker layer in the centre. I might need to sharpen. So a darker bit there and a darker bit on the edge. Like that. And then fade it towards the middle. Now just because these are metallic pencils, it doesn't mean you can't sort of treat them like any other type and we can just fade them in towards the middle. You could mix a few colours together to um, get that fade, but um, I'm not actually um, confident enough with knowing what colours what in this set yet and how well they blend together, so I'm going to just use the one colour like that. And you can see how it looks a bit sort of shiny in the middle which is the effect that I want to get and then this centre part has got a mix of colours normally I'm just going to have a look at a close-up one on my screen so the very centre part is usually black so we will do it black um, the, um, oh, the mythos black in that sort of heart shaped bit I want quite a hard application of that deep black there we go and then we have underneath it a little bit of sort of greeny blue mm, just having a look at my chart um, I think we'll actually use the what's it called the sapphire that we used for the uh, body I think that's the best match that I've got here and I'm going to take some artistic license and do it all the way around here. You can see how beautiful it is when it's a solid lump. It looks different here in the feather, but look at that. It's very pretty. I think it's probably one of my favourite colours. And then we have a sort of bronzy colour. Now we could grab the one we use for the beak, but I think we won't. So I think... Hmm, Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, we use the zircon bronze for our next circle. Now, on a on a peacock, they're not actually exact circles, but 
it's uh, the part it's a little bit different but uh, we're sort of going to follow Millie's guide and then for around the edge we're going to use our nearest to proper gold we have got this colour which is called melange she says with her worst ever um, French accent in the world and we're going to put that one around the edge now every tail feather is going to be identical to this so I'm not going to show you all of them I'm going to let you go and do it on your own I know some of you like it when I complete a whole picture but I figure that because it's so similar it's going to be really boring so uh, and I'm afraid today I don't have the time to spend doing it for the whole thing so I'm going to leave that there I will complete that at some point and get a photo up on, um, I might be able to use it as a thumbnail, it depends how, um, how quick I am at finishing it, I might be able to finish it this evening actually and get it up as a thumbnail for you, hmm, might be able to do that. So um, yes, because I'm watching a webinar tomorrow, I might be able to edit then while I watch it on my tablet maybe. So that's um, the beginnings of our peacock and I do think that if I can get some pinks and purples around here it will work well with the bird. I may do that as a video, I may not. I'll have a think and see um, see what I think really. <clears throat> and then don't say in the comments please do one because it will be too late <laughs> if you want one. Um, so uh, we may just, uh, maybe, I'll have a think. Um, but I'll have to finish the peacock first, so uh, I may not get a time to sort of slot it in. But there's um, the starts of the peacock. I think he is uh, he's beautifully drawn by Millie, so I hope that I have done him justice. Um, it's quite hard to see how the effect of the tail on just one feather, but I will try and get him done so he, the thumbnail picture is the whole peacock, so you can see um, what he looks like. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you coloured along or coloured something and uh, and thank you again to the lovely lady that sent me this book that asked me to do this uh, tutorial I hope it was okay for you and happy colouring